everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this gorgeous Marilyn Monroe inspired cake. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. To get started, I have two 8 inch and two 6 inch round vanilla cakes which I've removed from the cake pans and I've leveled so that they have a nice flat surface. And I'm going to fill these with some vanilla buttercream and then I'm going to pipe a border around each cake to keep the fruit filling that I'm going to add from spilling out. And to fill the cakes, I'm just using some fresh sliced strawberries. And then I'm just spooning some strawberry jam over these to keep them sweet and juicy. Then I add a little bit more buttercream over top of the strawberries. I add my second cake layer on top and I crumb coat the entire cake, let it chill, and then I give it a second coat of buttercream. And I repeat the same steps for my 6 inch cake, but I'm adding the 6 inch cake onto a 6 inch cake board that has a hole cut out in the center and this is going to be perfect for stacking and doweling our cakes. So now I'm just going to stack my 6 inch cake how I did the 8 inch cake. I add the cake, buttercream, strawberry filling and keep layering until I reach the top. I give this a crumb coat, let it chill, and give it a second coat of buttercream. Once my cakes have been covered in the second layer of buttercream, I grab my 8 inch cake, which is the bigger cake, and I'm going to add some bubble tea straws as support for our second cake layer, which is the 6 inch cake that we're going to be adding on top of this cake. I roll down my white fondant and I'm going to cover my cakes in this white fondant. I use a fondant smoother and my hands to smooth the sides and top of the cake and then I trim the excess fondant around the bottom perimeter of the cake with my X-Acto knife. Here I have some purple fondant which I've rolled out and I'm cutting into about inch thick strips and this is going to be the bottom trim for both cakes. And I just apply this at the bottom of the cakes using a bit of water. I'm going to add one bubble tea straw in the center of the cake. And this is going to be the support that's going to hold the top cake layer. And remember that our top cake layer had a cake board with a hole in the center. So we're going to fit this bubble tea straw right through the center of the cake. Now for the decorations on this cake, I'm using some printed edible Marilyn Monroe images and I get questions all the time on how to print the images, where I get the images, and I will be doing a more detailed tutorial about how to print edible images, but for now I can just tell you guys that I print these on sugar sheets which are completely edible and they are printed with edible ink, which is basically the same thing that gel food colors is made with. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to add the sugar sheets onto some fondant because it just makes it a lot sturdier. The sugar sheets are really delicate. If you get them wet, they dissolve and they crack easily. So I'm just adding them onto some fondant. And then I'm going to cut the images with some food safe scissors. Now I'm going to add the images in the top cake layer. So right where the purple ribbon is. I'm going to add a black ribbon around, just barely exposing the purple ribbon on top. And this is going to be kind of like a film strip. And then I'm going to add the edible Marilyn Monroe images onto here. Now for the other decorations on the cake, I'm going to be making a lipstick. So what I have here is a makeup mold and I got this at a local cake supply store but they do have these on Amazon as well. So what I have here is some black melted candy melts and the mold is double sided so that you can glue the both sides together and it's a 3D lipstick but I just need one side of the lipstick. So what I have here is some black candy melts and I'm just going to cover the bottom part of the lipstick with this. And I have some red candy melts and I'm going to fill the lipstick part of the lipstick mold in this. And then I'm going to let this set in the freezer for a few minutes. 
So the lipstick mold is set. I'm going to carefully remove this. And as you can see, I have a beautiful 2D lipstick. Now again, if you wanted to do a 3D lipstick, it is a double-sided mold. Now with some fondant, I'm going to create a cartoony Marilyn Monroe looking face on the side of the cake. So I'm just grabbing some black fondant and rolling it out to create her eyebrows, her eye shape, her nose, and then I'm using some red fondant to create her lips. And then I'm going to grab a really small ball of black fondant to create the iconic beauty mark on her lip. Now I'm going to be creating a film strip disc. I'm not entirely sure exactly what these are called, but it's the little disc that holds the film strips. And I'm going to be creating one out of candy melt. So what I have here is a three inch circle and I just have some white candy melt and I'm going to add this onto here. This is gonna make a perfect size mold. I'm going to make two of these and let them set completely. Now I let these chill in the freezer for a few minutes and they are completely firm so I'm going to carefully remove these from the mold and I'm going to leave one just like this and then the other one I'm going to poke some holes because these film strip discs have some holes in them. So to poke the holes in firm candy melt, what I'm using is a piping tip and I'm using the smaller round end. And I'm just burning this with, if you have a torch, that'll be fine. But I'm just using one of those long lighters. And what I'm going to do is burn that for a few seconds until I see that it's nice and hot. And then I'm just going to carefully pierce this through the candy melt and remove that. And I'm going to do this a total of six times. Now I'm going to paint this with some silver luster dust and spray. And here I have some more black fondant and this is about an inch wide as well and I've just used a tile cutter to cut out some white squares of fondant and I'm going to place these leaving a small space in between and this is going to be film strips to place around the cake. Now here I'm going to assemble my film strip discs. So I have the bottom piece and the top piece and this is going to be my support system to hold both of the film strip discs together. So I'm just melting that a bit and then I'm going to add the candy melt center on there. Then I grab my film strip and I'm going to wrap this around the candy melt center leaving a little bit more space. And then I'll use some melted candy melts to help glue the top film strip disc on top. And I let this set in the freezer for a few minutes. To start assembling all the decorations onto the cake, I start with my film strip discs. I'm going to add a bit of melted candy melt under this and glue this on the top side part of the cake. Then I grab a longer film strip that I made and I'm going to let this drape down the side of the cake as well. And using a bit of candy melt that I add to the back of my lipstick, I'm going to place the lipstick on the top tier, opposite side of where I placed the film strip. Now I'm going to carefully add the Marilyn Monroe face at the bottom part of the cake, under where I placed the lipstick. To create the beautiful Marilyn Monroe lips that I'm going to be adding around the cake, I just have some red fondant and then I have two heart shape cutters. I have a pretty big one and a smaller one. And what I do to create the lips is I just round out the bottom part of the heart. And then at an angle, I snip off the rounded top part of the heart. And I just begin shaping it into a lip shape and with a fondant tool, I create the little crease in the middle of the lips. I've added a few of these lips onto some toothpicks, and what I'm going to do is place these through the top part of the cake. 
And I'm going to place a few of these around the bottom border of the cake. And with an edible food marker, I'm going to create the beauty mark on one of the lips that I placed at the top layer of the cake and one that I placed on the bottom layer of the cake. And finally, to finish off the cake, I have a few more Marilyn Monroe images that I'm going to add. So I have one here that I added onto a toothpick and I'm going to place this right through the top center part of the cake. And then I have Marilyn Monroe's most famous and iconic picture which is the one of her wearing the dress and the wind is blowing it. And I just made this one a lot bigger and I'm going to place this on the side where I have the film strip. Then I have a few more small Marilyn Monroe images and I'm going to place these on the cake board to finish off the cake. And this glamorous Marilyn Monroe cake is complete. It's so simple yet elegant. The colors and style of the cake are very chic, modern, and subtle, but the pops of red from the lips just really tie everything together and make it very glamorous. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye!